Welcome back to Hearthstone Ranked. My name is Rhapsody. The person in the background is my best friend, Peak. We've just finished recording two and a half hours or three hours of Rogue Legacy, so my voice is a pygmy stallion, by which I mean it's a little horse. <sighs> also, I have something I have to say. This is my second attempt at recording this episode, but don't worry, I made no progress in Ranked, and the reason for that is because I played an 11 minute match in Casual. I still had Casual on, and I was just like, yeah, let's play the game, we'll win! And it was a really good match! It was really fun, we battled till the end, and we were really strategic, uh, but it was in Casual, so that video will never see the light of day. Now that we're in Ranked, we're actually gonna fucking play the game. Dear God. And we're gonna play it well, goddammit. We are going get going to get back to rank 15. Because I'm so ashamed that I'm in 16. That last ranked video did not go optimally. Is all that can be said in that regard. <sighs> it's taking a long time to find an opponent, unfortunately. Hang on, bring that up. And that. Perfect. Garrosh! Alright. Stormforge Axe stays. Mana Tide and the Argent go back. I don't really need to explain that. Mana Tide is only good when it's really, really well protected and you already have control of the board and Argent Commander is a 6 drop. Ooh, really glad to see my only Acidic Swampoos this early. So I'm not going to have an incredible amount of trouble taking care of, say, an Axe. In fact, I think, considering that I'm versing a warrior who uses axes so much, that I need to avoid playing the six. Oh shit, this is an aggro warrior! Oh, Earthshock. That's really good to have. So, no, I'm not going to Earthshock this turn, right? Ro I want to save my... Oh, hang on. No. Okay, so that's... The Argent Squire gets Earth Shocked, but I can take one damage from it. So next turn I have two mana. So I can remove his whole board next turn if he puts down, like, an Armor Smith or something. Okay, so that gets killed by the Stormforged Axe, that gets killed by Earth Shock. This type of deck does run, um... Elements guide me. No, there's no reason to Earthshock that yet. Not yet. Anyhow, this, uh, this type of iteration of the deck that he's running does run weapons, so I will need to keep my, uh, City Swamp boost. And it'll be really nice to have these taunts up. Yeah, you can armor up all you want. Girl spirits. And now that I already have a taunt up. And yeah, I'll hit it with the last hit of the axe. Cause now. Ugh, now he definitely wants to hit the Stone Claw Totem so that he actually does get to kill something with the Argent Squire before it dies. But the something that he gets to kill is basically a valueless totem. Wow, that's actually a strong finisher card that he's already used there, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, I'm gonna keep trying to use my Stormforged Axe's removal, because having a taunt up... I mean, he used a really strong finisher to remove one of my taunts. If he keeps using really strong cards to remove my taunts, then I put myself in a much better position. Like that! That's gonna die to my Acidic Swampoos, and I'm gonna be very happy about it. Whew. This aggro warrior is going down, and he's going down hard. Put this apple on your head. Pew. Of course, I don't need to out-aggress him. I don't need to worry about hitting him in the face with the Stormforged Axe or anything like that. I just need to keep him under control while I gradually get far more of an advantage in this game than he'll ever have. Okay, and you can choose to kill the knife juggler with your face. Yep. 
that's obvious. So, that exists, so I actually will trade this. Any other play I want to make? No. Totem up. This is your Drake. Ooh, that's going to be really good. Ah, uh, yes. Because as an aggro deck, a lot of his minions have low health. So having a fire elemental to just say, no, fuck that minion. It's really nice. Like, he'll... He'll probably use that to hit the Azure Drake. I mean, if he's smart. Okay. And now, his six mana minion dies to my six mana minion. Woo! I also could have killed it with my Stormforged Axe, you are correct, but then I put myself far closer to his lethal, uh, lethal range. And for an aggro warrior, running Gromish Hellscream plus triggers for it, which is the warrior... What are you doing? What are you doing? Which is the warrior legendary. Uh, and a trigger so that... Well, okay, so the Warrior Legendary is Gromish Hellscream. He's an 8 mana 4 9 with charge. When he's enraged, he gets plus 6 attack. <laughs> uh, yes, when he's enraged, he gets plus 6 attack. So you put him out on the field, you enrage him, and then you have a 10... Something charge. Execute. You only do that play if you have an execute. Really? Okay, so I have... 10... Shit, do I have lethal? 10? 15? Oh shit, I do! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> uh, and then you just charge to the face and you do a billion points of damage. We are back in the Silver Moon Guardian Graces. But. We are not on a win streak yet, and that's what we want to do, because win streaks are what get you up the ladder really quickly. Getting more than one star per match. Yeah. <clears throat> Finding opponent. Perfect. Worthy opponent. Come on. Ashen. Huh. It's not the person who makes YouTube videos. Can't. Feral spirit, feral sp Ooh, unbound elemental. Yeah, I'll chuck back the other one as well. Do I? No, I'm going all the way with LBJ with this opening. So... I need to coin out the Unbound Elemental on turn three. Oh, sorry, on turn two. And then Feral Spirit to follow it up. So then I have a 3-5 and a 2-3 and a 2-3. Two threes with Taunt. Unfortunately, that opening can be hard counted. Uh, with just, like, decent removal. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so at least for him to counter this opening, he needs to either cast a minion and hope that the 50-50 hits my Unbound Elemental, or the safe play is to hit the Knife Juggler into my Unbound Elemental and then Fire Blast. May my ancestor... Okay, now are you going to trade? That would be very smart for you to do that. I mean, I don't have a way to deal with your Tauren Warrior. Even though Tauren Warrior is a really bad card. This is him considering whether to trade or not. Yeah. That was the correct play. <sighs> Man, I mean, I'm sad about it, because it was the correct play and it was really good. I mean, the turn after, I would have had Stormforge Jax, so it would have been a fucking four or something. Would have already been better than a Yeti. Fireball, and then hit it with Tauren Warrior. You have 5-1, which I have to hit with my Stormforged Axe. Man. 
<laughs> Another Stormforged Axe. Yay. Elements guide me. So when this one inevitably gets killed by the ooze, I can kill the ooze with another Stormforge Dax. Ah, ah, ah. I'll have four mana next turn. It's not good. Because unless he oozes, I don't have a response. Okay, so he's getting ready to cast a lot of spells. I do not want him to cast a lot of spells. Because that's card draw, right? How do I kill that without having to use a hex? Easy. I can't. At all. Which sucks. A lot. I'd really like to have been able to use Hex in that situation. At the very least, I did not overload myself that turn with the Spirit Wolves. So, I get to play the Fire Elemental next turn for a free 3 damage against whatever he plays. So unless he plays something with more than 5 health, I can kill it with my face and the Fire Elemental. Oh, Fire Elemental eats that up. And it does it behind your taunt wall as well. Woo. Fire Elemental doesn't give a fuck about taunts. And yeah, I will hit the Stormforge Axe into one of these mirror images. Just because the turn after I can Stormforge Axe hit the other one, and then I have a 6-5 that's free to rain one on the board and do whatever he wants to do, basically. You don't have a zero mana card. Continue. Hit the fucking button. There we go. Man, this is really laggy for me right now. God damn it. I think I know why. Nothing on my part. Anyway, after this match, we're done, so... For the day. I have to go and watch Game of Thrones. Oof. Love that show. <clears throat> hmm. Ashen, have you got a fireball? If you do, it's going against the fire elemental right the fuck now. He could also frost bolt it and then hit it with the fire blast, hoping that next turn it's still there so he can hit it with the fire blast again. Nope, didn't go with that play. Okay. So how much can I overload myself this turn without hating myself for it? Hmm. I can overload myself by three, which means I'll have five mana the turn after, which isn't useful. Plus that dies to flame strike. This does not die to flame strike, okay? Because he needs to fire blast it to remove the shield and then flame strike, which would cost nine mana. And unless I am fucking horrible at counting, he only has eight. This should be fine. I usually like to play the Argent Commander as only as a response to something, but uh, yeah, that should be okay. I'll kill that with the Flame Tongue Totem and the Argent Commander. I'll do it. Don't fucking test me, son. Yep, he's testing me. So, Unbound Elemental goes out, and then I Feral Spirit, and it becomes a 3-5. But then, Flame Strike clears everything, leaves this on one health, and then he can Fire Blast it. So, no. Oh, man, I should have cast the Feral Spirits. No, 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 it wouldn't have helped. Okay, I was thinking I should have cast the Feral Spirits before I did anything. So that I'd have the um, Flame Tongue Totem in the center. But if I did that, then the Argent Commander wouldn't have gotten the buff. Because he was already on the field. Okay, so that's the correct play. This is bait for a, um, for a Flame Strike if he has it, basically. There it is. <clears throat> so next turn is probably Unbound Elemental, Stormforge Dax, Defender of Argus. Have I got enough mana for that? No, I don't. Okay. So then it's that, that, Axe. 
Woo! Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Pete, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, puns. It's a weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's a weapon. Words are a weapon, my friend. I wonder. Yes, you do. So if he has another flame strike, considering I have two cards in hand, he may be tempted to use it. And that wouldn't be a bad play on his part. I still have a lot of really value creatures left in my deck, though. I can kill that. Pretty easily as well. That's more difficult. But I can still kill it. Defender of Argus buffs up my Knife Juggler and then Lightning Bolt kills it. Hopefully, the Knife Juggler hits the Defender of Argus so I can kill the Defender of Argus with my Stormforge Dax. If he's smart here, he'll probably use the Fire Blast on Unbound. Okay, that, uh... I'm going to go with a no on the smart for that play. I'd really love to Lightning Bolt after the Gadgets and Auctioneer, but I just can't afford it. Oh, actually. Hang on. I can Lightning Bolt you now. Oh, no, no, no. Totem first. No. Okay. So... I trade my face, and that to kill that. Lightning Bolt hits that, so this becomes a 5-7. And now, if he wants to remove the Unbound Elemental, he's going to have to go all out. At the, very, at the very least, at the very least, I keep saying that. I have two more Earth Shocks in this deck. I should also have a Rock Biter weapon. Um, and two Hex, uh, no, one Hex, because I used one on a Gadgets and Auctioneer already. Yeah, draw a card. Ah, uh, that's, that's a fair play. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh, I wish I wasn't frozen so I could kill that. Ooh. So, it's more important to deny him card draw than to kill a Sorcerer's Apprentice and keep my um, Defender Vargas. He has no flame strike. Okay, so now we know we don't have to really be playing around things in his hand as strongly as we were doing before. So Gadgets and Auctioneer goes out. I definitely totem because I don't want to get this totem. Taunt totem's really good. Uh, Rock Biter. I remove that and Wrath of Air kills that. Okay, so. Neither of those, please, neither of those be flame strike. Neither of those can be flame strike. Come on. That's definitely not a flame strike then. Whew. Okay, so 9, 11. Total of 11 damage so far. Yeah, I'll probably want to take care of that. Now I have to, I suppose. Earthshock. I mean, Earthshock is basically card draw for us right now. Please be healing. Hmm. Is that good? No, it doesn't help us. Right? It doesn't help us. Because I earth shock that and then it's a 1-1. One, one. And I can't kill that unless I use one of my creatures. Or I earth shock that and it's a 2-1 and I can kill it with my face. Oh. Well played. I'm trying to play safe. I'm not trying to, you know, BM by taking a long time on my final turns. I'm just trying to play safe. That said, I'm pretty happy with that. We're ranked 15 and 3 stars after being... Uh, 3 out of 4 stars after being ranked 16 and 3 out of 3 stars. Last 
or at the very least, uh, at the end of last episode and the start of this one. So, that's been Hearthstone Ranked, I've been Rhapsody, we did surprisingly well, if I may say so. Two wins in a row. The first one, I think, was a bit shakier. Second one was... Yeah. After, after he had to throw out his whole hand, we knew we'd basically won. So that's been Hearthstone Ranked. I've been Rhapsody, and hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. We'll see you next time.